Welcome back to Phoenix Point. We are continuing on our Hero Run campaign. We're going to start knocking out some of our Phoenix objectives. And then this place we can't get to, so they're going to have to fend for themselves. Hopefully they survive. And what did we do here? So we're going to keep exploring. We drop, dropped a ping. I think... I think we're going to want to do more than one ping. New Jericho Training Center Party. Um, we'll move you back here. Alright, our operatives have reached a defunct research station in the northern Siberia. Identified Symes in the Symes notes as a significant point of interest, the doors stand open and there are no signs of life. Scientists who worked at the station are all long dead. Their mutated bodies lay like frozen in strange demonic poses. It's easy for our operatives to retrieve the samples they are searching. While Randolph Symes came all this way to examine. Which Randall Symes came all this way to examine. In 2022, a group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. The Phoenix Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. So the plot thickens. Just making sure, I think we need, we need, um, we didn't need to capture Pandorans and do a bunch of other stuff. Let's get this. Skinny yo, you're a melee. Um, melee guy, we're gonna increase your health. And for equipment, we're actually uh, gonna drop in a Neurazor. See if we can start capturing some Pandorans. And we will get into augmentation here in a bit. I think you're okay on ammo, actually. So, hold on. Area scan, so we're better off. This is a transmission to the world. The rising tide of salvation has begun. While you all cower in your own filth and deviancy, the pure have started the cleansing wave to rid the world of all impurities. No haven is safe. Whatever treacherous leader or hopeless beliefs they follow. You have two choices. Cast off your flesh or have it stripped for you. Alright, this guy's gone full crazy. Um, we're gonna actually move. Alright, we received an unconfirmed report of someone dying during a potential ODI related recurring nightmare. The individual in question had supposedly reported that with each repetition of the dream, they came closer to the gates of a tomb in a vast dead city under a black sky. It's hard to judge what exactly this means without more evidence. Oh man, that haven got destroyed. I mean, we... We tried. We're gonna drop a ping and then knock these out. Then work our way over to this one. So, uh, when the Manticore 1 drives at Bay Alonis, our operators encounter a crisis situation. An un unknown fungus has been found growing inside the haven. The local scientists are extremely alarmed and everyone is doing their best. So we're going to help them. After a great deal of hard work, the growth is isolated and removed. It turns out to be a highly mutated strain of Aromathiasum gossipi, which could have caused severe damage to the haven's crops. How it infiltrated the haven remains unknown, but the inhabitants are deeply thankful for your help. Nice. So we're going to do an area scan. Oh. Uh, where's the Helios? Yeah, you guys, you guys are healing up and repairing. Gonna work our way over here. Nice. Um, 
We have well determined that this weapon is inferior to this weapon. 120 damage, 82 effective range, 15 ammo capacity, weight 2 or 4. This is only 110 damage. It's it's um, effective range is like half, or not half, but you know, 58 instead of 82. So that looks good for equipment. Um, you don't have any other guns. I'm gonna I'm gonna start working on another one, and we will get into augmentation here in a minute. So you're still healing. Um, let's move. Let's try to knock knock out this rise by sin by virtue fault. Oh man. Um, they are. Attack in Havens. The pier is kind of a jerk. There's seven of them. We're gonna. I'm gonna make sure that both these guys have. Toe does two heal health. Uh, that's. That's okay. You have one health, one one med kit, not health. Um, man, the peer bring bionic augmentation, which is actually pretty awesome. You can see that with her Hikaru, we can go into wall blasting mode and just like charge through things, which actually could be very useful. If someone's hiding behind a wall, we just knock it down and melee them. So she will definitely dual specialize as a heavy. Toad, on the other hand, is going to dual specialize as an assault, and we're going to give Toad living armor. All right, so secure. Oh, shoot. We have to save structures. Um, what are these things? They look like generators. Seem kind of important. I don't like the fact that they they have seven dudes that that to me makes makes me nervous or equivalent of seven I guess they could have a vehicle of some sort so we're gonna move over here so we got an enemy over here so I'm gonna gonna move back because I don't want to take needless damage and we only have so many scarab shots so we are going to play a little conservative and see if we can see if we can uh, group them up a little bit. Demolition state is pretty badass. Um I'm gonna have you kind of cover our back and again we're playing conservative because we don't have that many units So one of the challenges we now have is they are going to probably go for objectives. So we just need to, oh boy, ooh, a heavy. I'm going to jump here. And it's a very long shot. We're going to move you over here. And I 
again. Um, just gonna kind of cover our backs. And we're gonna move you here. So if we can get them close enough to each other, we're gonna swing around and try to bomb them. I hope there's a stop. Ah! Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, um, Is it troop? I'm just seeing the tree is not an option, unfortunately. Uh, I think should provide us some cover. You're still just making sure they don't sneak up on us. I am going to. Expose my scarab a little bit. And we're gonna. I don't want that guy to turn around and blow us up with a Goliath, which is a risk. Oh boy. Alright, you use your handgun. That's cool. I hope this guy runs around. Nope. Do we do no damage? Alright, one down. At least one down. Oh, he was inside. So the angling might have not been the best. We're gonna move you up. And you... Let's try to get you out of there. Um... We're gonna... I, I don't wanna shoot my own guy. And just make sure there's no one else. Oh boy, he's gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I might have been able to snipe there, which would have been a better decision. Uh, we're gonna move up and Go back, make that guy run towards us. This guy's playing objectives, which is a good thing, so. As much as we're trying to save the Sanhedrin Haven, um, our guys are more important. Alright, so. That dude disappeared.
Um, and I'm gonna regret this. But, uh... Needs must. And... I... Gotta throw you in demolition state. Boom! Can we not bash? Ah, uh, too many action points. Um, oh, ow, disabled tire. That one hurt. Resisted? What about now? There we go. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. So we're gonna hop in the vehicle. The tire's down, so that could... I think that impacts our distance, possibly. We'll see. I just appeared. What happened to All right. So we're going to move you here. Can overwatch over there. We'll disembark you. Provides minimal cover. And I'm hoping we don't have another... Ooh, we're gonna damage their facility, but... Yeah, we damaged it. That's okay, though. All right, hunk of metal. Um, throw you back in here. It's dangerous though, because if they blow us up, I think our units might die, so. Just a transportation trick. Oh, nice. Disabled the arm. That hurt it. Okay, did a nice little jump. So we are not going to waste... We're not going to waste ammo on this guy. Let's see if we can take out his leg. Nice. Well, Haven defended. I'll take it. We'll head and heal and repair. 
Gotta fix that tire on the... On the Scarab. So I think we pick up their stuff. Shimmer grenade. Poison grenade. Ooh, neuro pistol. All right, and then we got a crossbow. These are nice, we can always use med kits. You are very welcome, my buds. 28, even though we stole your aircraft. Um, all right, I think this will trigger a mission. Oh, Fort Zeus, is there a way for us to Look up forts. I don't just have to like remember. Is there a way for us to tell? Is there like a little oh there's a little star Tango Six? That doesn't seem like a cool name, man. Um how do we tell if they're technicians? B hero. So elite training is a produce cranial implants for the elite technician class. Oh snap, technician. Unhearted. Um, unhearted sounds like a cool call sign. So if anything, we'll we'll hit you guys up. I thought I saw an elite training facility. Yeah, what do you have? Optic Nibs. Sanidi's so infiltrator class, the ultimate assassin and stealth fighter. Uh, well, we want a technician, which we'll work on. All right, the coordinates in Sab's notes have led our operatives to a small abandoned camp high up in the mountains behind it lies the entrance to a cave. The cave contains a corpse of a Caucasian male. It's hard to identify at first as it is overgrown with yellow sickly looking leaves sprouting from the shriveled skull. A backpack on the floor contains faded photographs and broken specimen jars. Sam seems to have taken what he needed, but even what remains is enough to revolutionize our understanding of this planet's biological history. Our analysis of the leaves growing from the body show that this organism contains traces of the Pandora virus, but a different older strain. The implications of this discovery warrant further study. In his essays, my great-grandfather recounts the story of the ill-fated Chinling Bashan expedition of 1915 and the journal of Lei Meng, the leader of the mission, who found evidence of a forgotten proto-civilization deep below the ground. There is also mention of James Dawson, a British photographer who stole most of the precious samples recovered by the team. What became of Dawson has always been a mystery, but now I know the mundane truth. He died here in the mountains, forgotten and alone. This proto-civilization, could it hold the key to defeating the Pandora virus? They say history repeats itself. Has all of this happened before? Ooh, very intriguing. I think we would have giant crabs crushing people in our history if it had happened, but who knows? Thanks to our investigation of Randolph Symes III, we now have gathered sufficient information to initiate the study of the Pandora virus. All right. Pandora virus. Let's prioritize you. Uh, now we need to get to work on um, revealing more Phoenix bases as well as capturing Pandorans. Construction complete. Containment constructed. Nice. All right, let's get back to work. Phoenix base. Phoenix base. The bridge. Our operatives are set down on a bridge in the middle of nowhere. It looks like a group of people tried to set up a haven here, building out from underneath their bridge, but the construction has been left unfinished. Either these people were killed or they decided to move on. There's not much left, but something's better than nothing. Alright. Ooh, like lots to explore. Got a manager. Oh, hold on. Scan completes. Oh, 
Or explore, then drop an area scan over here. Right of Hope. Manicor arrives at MR during the Right of Hope, which reminds the faithful to look beyond the problems of the present and believe in a bright future. The citizens march to the heaven, chanting, Perfection is possible, praising the exalted, the first human being to approach said perfection. After this ceremony, there is a feast, and the priests share some of their provisions with their operatives. Oh, that's a lot of provisions. After the feast, with a few beers in them, the priests are quite jolly. They share funny and sometimes graphic stories about how they used to believe the road was doomed and all the foolish things they did in their despair, and how they ultimately found hope in the exalted. Alright. Glad that you are hopeful. I want food for tech, not... Oh my goodness. So we're rerouting. Here she has flown over an abandoned village. Our operatives are set down near an old church. The graves have been disturbed. It's almost as if someone dug up all the bodies or they came alive and ripped their way out of the ground. But that doesn't happen, does it? On further investigation, it turns out the bodies were dug up as part of some forgotten experiment. One of the houses in the village had been converted into a lab and is full of human body parts fitted with cybernetic enhancements preserved in some kind of embalming fluid. At least we know that the Pandorans haven't started animating the dead. Well, that would be absolutely terrifying. Construction complete. Nice. Now we have more labs. We're going to do an area scan. And where are you guys? You guys are rushing to the defense. Um, the pier are kind of jerks. They're just indiscriminately hitting people. We have enough problems with the Pandora virus. Scan complete. Alright, so there's one baddie I don't know if that's what this denotes because before it said seven and we definitely only took on less than seven we will get to augmentation but I'm hoping to get sniper variants so silent overwatch running legs so we can run through overwatch set up and snipe them down um, we already have Hikaru who we recruited who has a chess piece we saw her run through a wall then melee bash down one of the pier. Uh, that was pretty fun. This game is awesome. Like, there is a lot to it. I'm still learning, but I am definitely enjoying it. So we'll hopefully save this haven and call this an episode. But we're trying to knock out uh, consistently our objectives. Okay, so... Where's the structure? There's a structure over here. Is this the only structure? Or a person? Ooh, that looks like an important fabrication plant of some sort. So you guys know me. I like my jump jets. So let's... Oh! I think we could have got a little higher, to be honest. Enemy spotted. Alright. We have... Rocket Leap. Uh, can't... Uh, disrupt target for one turn. So he can disrupt us. Double weight can be carried. He's only carrying a VDM Defender, which is a New Jericho Goss rifle heading out uh, we're gonna move here and let's right get set up so see it said enemy one but clearly there are two so I'm not sure what the heck that means all right well we're gonna overwatch you I am going to get into cover. Ooh, just too far, unfortunately. Receiving loud and clear. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. We're getting up close and dirty with Vom. I got this covered. Let's moving fast. Move you here. And I 
wonder if that's a bad guy in there. If he like breaks through that wall and tears us a new one, I will be pretty upset. So you can see we're playing more or less defensively. I'm a little bit nervous about Freya. Um, because she's up there and they can snipe her. Nice. That leap does not seem to be worth it. Ow! Son of a gun. Always. Yep, that's another enemy. That is another enemy. Oh boy. Alright, bro. So we are going to heal ourselves. We need to work on hit points, but I want to get some more abilities because abilities are clutch. Um. That move here. Aiming. Let's take out this guy's. Oh. Okay, maybe not. I'm ready. Oh wow! He actually hit him. What's that was highly unexpected. I'll keep my eyes open. But also very awesome. Um, how do we want to handle this? So can you? Why can't you? Sniper. That dude, where is that dude? Oh, uh, he's, he's... Targeting. Oh, uh, this guy's shield is pretty... Pretty extensive, so we're gonna overwatch you here. Um... Nope, hold on. Gonna reduce our shot cost. Confirming target. Let's dome this fool. Free Overwatch. Fortunately, we have to move. Moving now. So we're going to do the same thing, because we're going to try to maximize our damage output on this guy. And we're going to take out his arm. Gotcha. Then we're going to switch to our pistol. To fire. Aim for the leg. Ah, missed. missed. That's okay. I'm what is this guy? He's got a grenade launcher, so he should be more or less disabled, I hope. Now we're going to have a real problem with this sniper. Attempt to. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna. Are we gonna destroy our cover? No, we're not. Um. Specifically cover. Sniper. Ow. Who did? Who did he? Hit this guy. Okay. 
make my day, punk. What? What? How did you do that? Oh boy, that sucks. Did he have channel open? The hell did he have? I right, take this full out. That was a kill. And then we're gonna move here. Did he? Did he move bug out? Position. Oh, I. I screwed that up. It does have a pistol, so we're not out of the woodwork yet. Let's, um... Say hello to my little friend. Oh, nice. That worked a lot better than I thought. All right, um, not the prettiest, but we got it done. I think we're we're trying to balance keeping Haven safe, expanding our bases, gaining resources, fury missile, some ammo. Um, so it is it is a fair balance. Um, I think our production capacity. I am really hoping that we can reveal a Haven. So we're gonna let that one. Deploy an area scan and let me see. All right, how do you like them apples? The Helios in an open field next to rows and rows of apple trees. A building nearby has been abandoned. The whole place has been neglected for quite a while. There's no testing on the apples indicate they are unfit for human consumption as they have been affected by the Pandora virus. While they look normal on the outside, on the inside they contain internal organs closely resembling those of a crab. Um, let's inform the disciples of any The disciples send someone to investigate the potential. Ooh, New Phoenix isn't like that. Are these literal crab apples? They might open up entirely new culinary possibilities. After all, how can humanity adapt to the new ecosystem without finding ways to enjoy it? Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. I am having a blast. Um, we have our A and B team. I think it's going to be time to start thinking about our C team, uh, which with the technicians. So we are going to start thinking about building our C team in the next episode. And I am hoping we reveal a Phoenix base in this area somewhere. So I'm building up some resources so we can make sure that the outpost or Phoenix base in Asia or the greater Asian continent uh, will have both living quarters and medical facilities. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Shadow Coast out.